prehistoric humans, you know, the ones who presumably walked around hunched over with the smaller foreheads, bigger jaws, smaller eyes, and scraggly hair. No, not the creepy guy at the end of your street. He just works nights. I'm talking about cavemen, and there isn't a lot by way of white papers regarding studies of what age these cavemen actually lived to be. But there is a myth that cavemen lived to be about 25 years old, and I'm here to debunk that myth with basic grammar and math which I'll get to in this video. I hope to shed some light on the subject matter of the average age of cavemen, not unlike the light from the fire that they discovered. Actually, this is inaccurate, but stay till the end of the video and I'll explain why, as well as share some other lesser known facts about cavemen that you probably didn't know. But in the meantime, let's get to know these cavemen, because if we get to know them, I might see whether they lived longer or shorter than us civilized cavemen. So who are cavemen? I mean, I won't be able to know how old cavemen actually live to be without knowing who they are. Not in the sense of knowing what their favorite color is or whether they like pizza or pasta, but more in the sense of where in the human being, Homo sapiens, ladder did they appear? The cavemen, or Neanderthals as paleoanthropologists have listed them in their speed dial, were hunter-gatherers and they lived in, you guessed it, caves. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? If you think about the animated movie Crudes, they are Neanderthals. They hunted for food and would gather fruit, nuts, or any edible plants and run like hell from any predators. Apex predator or not, cavemen didn't have claws or long ass canines to bite into a lion's jugular till he suffocates. So when did they actually live? Well, cavemen lived during the Stone Age, which was about 500,000 years ago. This is the time where everything was made of stone, such as tools and weapons. Now you know why it's called the Stone Age. You're welcome. The cavemen were actually quite sophisticated with their technology. No, they didn't have computers or tablets made of stone, well, actually they probably had tablets, just not the one that you're imagining, caveman technology consisted of stone tools such as flint stone, core spearheads to hunt and kill animals, scrapers that they would use to tan animals' hides, awls that were used to punch holes into the hides in order to make clothes, and they also had tools that allowed them to cut into wood and sharpen weapons. And in order for us to know what age the cavemen lived until, I also need to know what threatened their way of living. Basically, what were they dying off of? Apart from the obvious being large predators such as bears, lions, wolves, basically the animals with the scratchy and bitey bits that help them be at the top of the food chain animals, these dangers were at least kept at bay with a blazing fire. All animals know how to stay away from a thing that is hot and bright, especially since if a wildfire broke out back then, it was left to do its thing. Its thing being burn everything till you literally run out of steam or until you reach water. Other major players in the what kills a caveman game are illnesses, the extreme weather such as harsh winters, and as well as food shortages. I also have to consider the age at which cavemen were expected to earn their keep, which is a lot younger than us modern humans, which in some cases is upwards of 21 years old. Cavemen kids as young as two and a half were put to work, basically right after they were weaned. Imagine that, you get off the teat and then you gotta go now sweep the cave floor or shake out the sleeping pelt. Some of us civilized ones don't even do that now. So from a very young age, around 8 to 10, these cavemen adolescents get promoted from cave sweeper to hunter. There's no hunter training ground where you'd get to kill a rabbit or something. No, no, you went with the hunting party to hunt the large dangerous guys. Because what is life if not filled with adrenaline? So how old did these cavemen actually live to be? Well, just think, if you were put to work right right after you were potty trained, assuming you were potty trained at around 2 years old, and then from the age of 9 you were expected to wield a weapon and join a hunting party, that is if by that age you hadn't been dragged away by a leopard or bear or something or met your end at the hands of a harsh winter, your life expectancy wouldn't be very high. Same with our cavemen friends here, research of fossils of Neanderthals found that more than 80% of these prehistoric humans didn't live past the age of 40. 40. To give you an idea of how young 40 is, Elijah Wood, yes, Frodo from the Lord of the Rings franchise, turned 40 this year. It was just the other day that he was on his way to Mordor and such. Crazy how time flies. Just think that if you were 40 in the caveman community, you were considered an elder, wizened, teaching all the nine-year-olds how to sharpen stone into a point, and every time you left the cave, you said bye to everyone because you didn't know if you would be back since, well, you've already lived to your expiry date. Another contributing factor to their short lifespan can probably be attributed to there being a hypothesis about Neanderthals maturing faster than modern man. Thus, their metabolic rate was higher than ours, meaning that cavemen grew faster and aged faster. Basically, everything in their lives 
pointed towards early retirement, permanent early retirement. So what's the whole deal with this myth about cavemen only living to an average age of 25? Well, this myth is probably born out of the misuse or misunderstanding of the word average, as well as the sentence it is used in. If I say the average caveman lived to be around 40 years old, that means that it is normal or typical that a Neanderthal lived to be about 40 years old, save a few exceptions. There was no test group to base any statistics on. Meanwhile, if I say on average the caveman died at the age of 25, this means that data from a test group was used and math supplied in order to come to an answer. This data cannot be accurate because science and diggers have not found remains of all the cavemen that ever lived. Moreover, if they used the actual remains that were discovered and those were used in the calculation, it would still not be accurate because of the vast array of remains found from infants to adult cavemen. Here's a quick math lesson for you. Take Fred and Wilma and Pebbles, aka the Flintstones. Let's assume that all three of them died at the same time freak accident with a mammoth for the sake of authenticity. Fred is 40, Wilma 33, and Pebbles is 2. If we work out the average age of death based on these ages, we would get the following. 40 plus 33 plus 2 divided by 3 equals 25. Therefore, as someone probably once said, in our studies we have found that the average age of death in cavemen is 25. And people misunderstood that and so the rumor of cavemen only lived to be about 25 years old was born. See how averages are different than medians? The idea is that cavemen weren't necessarily dying at the age of 25, the reality is, is that there was a high infant mortality rate where lots of young infants and babies would die at a very young age, which skewed the overall averages down to 25 in favor of the infants. That sounded super morbid. So with that whole unpleasant fact out of the way, let's move on to five lesser known facts about cavemen that you likely didn't know. One. Neanderthals did not discover fire. First of all, fire always existed. You can't take praise for discovering something that can be seen nearly every time lightning strikes a dry tree. Secondly, Neanderthals, as I mentioned in this video, walked the earth about 500,000 years ago, whereas the earliest evidence of control of fire, maintained fire, ranges to about 1.7 to 2 million years ago. That predates Captain Caveman by roughly 1.5 million years. 2. Cavemen sometimes dabbled in cannibalism. The jury is still out on whether they practice cannibalism because of burial rituals, out of extreme food shortage and hunger, or in order to dispel the foul smell of decomposing bodies, or just an outright act of war. Either way, the evidence found that these guys weren't very good at cannibalism, which indicates that it might have just been because the winter was too long and they couldn't find food. 3. Neanderthals were musical. Can you imagine a world without music? Well, apparently neither could our 500,000 year old cousins. Paleoanthropologists and the like have found bone flute fragments that were made from the longer bones of bears. In 1995, diggers even found the Divhe babe flute in Slovenia, which musicologists say might have had a pentatonic or diatonic scale. Music has been around for a really long time. 4. Cavemen were way more evolved than what popular culture gives them credit for. If I say caveman, what image comes to mind? A burly male figure with a leopard pelt as a body covering, wielding a club, dragging a female into a cave? Yeah, popular culture has done them dirty. Cavemen were a lot more evolved than that. They were able to build houses out of mammoth bones. They had sophisticated hunting weapons and weapons for defleshing animals, scraping hides and preparing food. They had medicine, clothes, shoes, as well as the musical instruments previously mentioned. And five, Neanderthals did not simply go extinct the way other species in our modern world do. Neanderthals didn't die out or were killed off by some more apex predator as what is happening today to so many species. Nothing so dramatic happened to them. No, it is hypothesized that cavemen were bred into extinction by none other than modern humans. Gasp. Don't believe me? Well, in 2010, the first Neanderthal genome sequence was published, which shows that all non-Sub-Saharan genomes contain Neanderthal DNA. And a bonus fact, using the word caveman insinuates that this Homo sapiens variant only lived in caves, which is only half true. Studies have shown that caves are probably only inhabited during the winter months. Granted, the winter months are longer in the northern hemisphere, which meant that they probably lived in a cave for about 60% of the year. That's it for today, but now you have a whole bunch of information in your head about why cavemen didn't actually live to be just 25 years old, and you know a whole lot more useless facts about cavemen that you could share at your next dinner party. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.